So question number six of a factoring review. I have determined if each function has a minimum or a maximum and to calculate this value and where it occurs. And then finally determine the domain and range. So for two, f of x is equal to two times x plus two squared minus one. This first term of two is positive. So because that's positive, this is gonna be a minimum. The specific value of this minimum would be at the point of the vertex. So negative two comma negative one. And the domain and range. Since this is a polynomial, the domain's all real numbers. So negative infinity to positive infinity. In parentheses, the range. Since this is a minimum, it opens upwards. The lowest point on it is the value of negative one. And since it actually does exist there, it'll be a bracket, negative one, comma, infinity, since it opens upwards. For f of x is equal to negative x squared minus 2x minus 15. Um, we could do for this negative, negative two divided by two times negative one. This will give us negative one. Um, and if you put negative one into this function, so negative, negative one squared minus two times negative one minus 15 we get negative 14 back. Because of this being negative in front of the x squared, this is going to have a maximum at that point, negative one comma negative 14. The domain, again, this is a polynomial. So all real numbers and the range. Because of this being a maximum, this is going to be negative infinity to negative 14. And a bracket, excuse me, around the negative 14. Since it does include that point. Uh, let me know if you if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.